Hi, I'm Toby. I'm a professional makeup artist in Sydney and I work in fashion and do editorial. And I'm here with blogger Zanita and I'm going to show you how you can recreate the look that I did last week for the Maya Spring Summer launch, which you may have seen on Instagram. Got a lot of questions about it actually. We've prepped the skin, I usually clean it with Bioderma, and I'm going to give Zanita a beautiful massage with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Yes which is just amazing. I've yeah. heard a lot of good things about it. Next, I'm gonna prime with Laura Mercier Radiance Primer, which is beautiful, gives you a nice glow. Is it important to use primer? I really like the finish that it creates. So this one, you can see it's got that beautiful glow. And then once you put your foundation, it kind of shines through, so. Okay. And then you can get oil free if you're a bit oily. Well, so. my skin is dry, so I find I've So never... this one's good for you. Okay. Because um, it keeps it really dewy and glossy. Whereas if you're oily, I probably wouldn't recommend to use this one. Beautiful. Oh, it really oh, is oh, good. Oh, look at you. Like an astronaut from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> So next we're going to use this beautiful Charlotte Tilbury foundation. It's called Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. And this is in number six medium. Do you recommend always using a brush to apply foundation? I use my fingers when I'm being lazy at home. Depends on foundation too. I find some foundations are good for fingers, but some others kind of need a bit of blending. So, yeah. but the heat of your fingers is always good because it kind of melts it into yeah. the skin. Where's your favorite restaurant in Sydney? My favorite restaurant in Sydney is Mr. Wong's. Oh, I love Mr. Mm. Wong's. Okay, so that's the finished foundation look. It's glowing, oh, it's so just nice. like a goddess. I feel like that's like sometimes all you need. Like. Yeah, especially with your beautiful eyes, you don't need too much. So I'm gonna show you the next step is my favorite secret camouflage by Laura Mercier and look up and I'm just gonna tap that so Vita's skin's so good she doesn't need much so this is a concealer yeah this is great for those darker areas under the eyes if you want to cover up your late night <laughs> <laughs> I always find that I have darker shadows when I'm very pale like my yeah. skin is like translucent yeah. and so there's a couple of colors so the peachy tone gets through you know sometimes you've got the bluish color yeah I get blue <laughs> look at that <laughs> and sometimes if I'm doing like say I did a a red lip I would go around like the edges with this and it makes a really sharp line with your lipstick. If you're gonna do a strong lip. Look at that glow, girl. <laughs> that foundation loves your skin. Yeah. You've got it though, don't you? I uh, know, I don't have the foundation. Oh, you need to get it. So next we're going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And we're just gonna powder that T-zone because we want it to be nice and matte. So when I do brows, I always brush them up that Zanita's brows are pretty good, so they don't need much oil. But I'm just... I just had them tinted. Actually. Oh, that's why. So this is a matte crayon eyebrows in fling, and I'm just doing feather like strokes to give it a bit more shape. It's a crayon. Yeah. So you don't need to sharpen it, which is what I like, because I go through these like crazy. So this is a great color for blondes, people with fair brows. Mmm, mm. I love Gorgeous. that. And then I'm going to go in with MAC, just some clear brow gel. I'm just going to brush that through. Voila. Beautiful brow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Okay, so these, oh my gosh, I love these. These are MAC paint pots, Pro Longwear paint pots. This one's Groundwork, which is a beautiful taupey brown. I can't live without this. I use this like all What's the time. It it's a cream shadow. So if you close one eye, you can peek. Can you watch me? So I'm just going to shade. I'm going to go over your whole lid and then open. And it just gives a really nice color. Yeah. Like because you don't need much. It's great for blue eyes. Groundwork. It's called. Groundwork. And this is a 217 matte fluffy brush, which I love. And then you can go back in and just blend that to give a little bit more definition. I'm just gonna run this just really, really close to my line. 
So you can see when you go underneath, it just enhances the shape of the eye, which is really pretty. So now I'm gonna go in with a matte paint pot in Indian wood with my 239 brush by MAC and close the needle. And I'm just gonna pop this just like in the center, because this is a beautiful like golden color. So the groundwork color is a bit more matte, but this one has a bit more of a metallic finish. So in the center of the eye, I'm just gonna pop that on both lids. So now I'm gonna use NARS Hollywood Land Soft Touch Shadow Pencil. And I'm gonna pop this, just close the needle. This is gonna go in just the inner eye, just as a little highlight. Beautiful. So the shadows that I'd go in with now, with Woodwinked, a MAC, close. And I'm just gonna pop that over Indian Wood. And that's about it for the eyes. It's a pretty simple look. I'm gonna curl lashes. So this is by Kevin Aquan. So everyone's either got the Kevin Aquan or the Shimura. I like them both. Much of a muchness, really. Okay, so now mascara. I'm gonna use this one, which I love. This is MAC. I think it's extra dimension for memory. It doesn't have the name on it, but that's packaging. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now we'll do the bottom. So just look up. Pretty. So now we're going in with Adele individual lashes. And I always use black glue, which I love. Is it hard to find that black glue? Um, well, this one's, I don't know where I got this, but I think Adele do one. Um, or Duo have a black one, which is a little bit tricky to find. Just look down. So I'm going in with medium lashes. And I find the medium and short are better. The long ones are just a little bit too long for my liking. Next, we're gonna go contour and highlight, and I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which is one of my favorite. You can see as well a door. <laughs> yeah, this is like my second or third one I've been through. This is her contour brush, which is really good too. And you just want to hit under the cheekbone and pull it back and up. Do you like your models to smile when they do this? They can smile. Yeah. Sometimes I get asked to smile. <laughs> Why do you put it on the hairline? Because, well, definitely if you've got a large forehead, it can um, make your forehead look smaller. But I just like it because it gives a a really bronzy kind of finish. It kind of makes, um, makes the highlight through here yeah, like stand out. Exactly. So I'm going to go on with Improper Copper, which is a nice cream kind of highlight. And so this just, is kind of like a blush? Yeah, a little bit. We're going to go on with another powder blush, but it kind of just... So it's for highlights? Is it, is yeah. it metallic? It, it's metal. got a metallic finish, it's creamy. So that just warms up the face a little oh, bit yeah. more. Then I'm going to get the gold shade. This is absolute magic. And just fan it over the tops of the cheekbones, the center of the nose. Amazing! <laughs> this is like a really subtle, subtle version of the makeup that the Victoria's Secret Angels wear. Yeah. Like, they've got this like, it's yeah. like this look on steroids. That is. A little yeah. bit more pinkier. Yeah, pinkier. And... So now we're going to go in with my favourite blush at the moment, which is New Romance. It's a mineralised skin finish blush by MAC. And it's like a peachy kind of colour, but it's got golden highlights. So it's just going to tie in really well. But we don't want it to be too strong, so we're not gonna overload it. Pretty. Woo okay, so on the lips, I'm just gonna hydrate with the lip conditioner by MAC. Beautiful. Sometimes I do this at the start to let it soak in, but we forgot today, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. And then I'm just going to go in with Whirl Lip Pencil by MAC. Then I'm going to use a Harlot lipstick called Exposed, which is one of my favourites. 
Harla is an Australian company, which I like to support. They do beautiful foundations and lipsticks and all different products. Pretty. Cool. And that's it. That's amazing. Yeah. So will you put, you'll put all the products underneath, right? Yes. So check below to see all the products that yeah. have been used in this amazing look. Mm -hmm.